Rebels. Happy Wednesday to you guys. We got Bitcoin battling 60K right now. That is a level that we need to hold. We haven't even closed a four hour candle below 60K. Now we've been down here before. We've been down here several times now. We've been down here on the 4th of March, been down here around the 18th of March, and then uh, last Saturday, and then today. But uh, we have not, actually, we did just close a candle, not below 60K, but below 65. Um, and, and we're battling right now, and things still look bearish. Uh, altcoin's down about 4.5%. Traditional stock market's down as well. We got the uh, NASDAQ down a percent. We got the S&P down 0.7, and the Dow Jones down 0.4. Going on, Giovanni. What up, Cub? What up, Ryan? Hope you guys are having a good day. And I'm joined here by Brian. You guys know him. But uh, it's not looking good. Brian and I were both in Discord um, all morning, singing uh, love songs to each other and shorting Bitcoin. Crushing it. You're crushing it right now. Yeah, uh, I'm in a short, I think. I don't know. Are you still in a short? I got stopped out. I'm good uh, for the day. Uh, 287% right now. Um, <laughs> not doing too bad. I mean, I've lost a couple too. I mean, this is the, one of the longer trades that I've been on where I've kind of just been, well, first of all, half kind of forgot about it and then just uh, being super, super liberal, right? Or yeah, liberal with my stop losses. Um, but, you know, it's it's the same. It, it looks very similar to this over here right we had the uh three peak scenario kind of play out here uh i forgot I even had that on here i'm trying to make a uh, i'm trying to make a cheat sheet for all of thomas bukowski's uh chart patterns um and find examples from the charts and, and make them um Cause there isn't one out there, uh, you know, all the cheat sheets for chart patterns have like only like the, you know, like seven to 10 of them. And it's all just like bull flags and shoulder head and shoulders. What's well, like, well, everyone knows those, but they don't know all the other ones that play out, uh, you know, 70, 80% of the time too. So I'm taking it upon myself to make one. It'll probably take me a while because each one takes time. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to have that done within the next week or two here, but it kind of looks like, like this, right? Three peaks broke the peak continued crash, right? Three peaks, broke the peak, probably a continued crash. I mean, my kind of thought process here is, you know, unless the, you know, this is kind of like a no shit saying, but unless the bidders step up, unless we put in a, you know, a definite bottom here, you know, maybe something like this down to like 55 K. I mean, look at the, or whoops, look at the order books right now. We got, uh, but what 1000 about 15 1600 bitcoin sitting between 54 and 56k right now so if we lose this little bit of resistance that we have between kind of 60 and 59 that's that's where we're headed uh, you know the order books could shake up before that but that's what it looks like now if if the bidders don't step up we definitely do not want to close a candle below 60k and so far we're looking okay so far, we haven't. Not even a four-hour candle um, below that. All coins right now are obviously bleeding harder than than Bitcoin is in the longer run, right? So, all coins lost its range that it was in um, a few times. I mean, we worked all the way down to two hundred twenty-two billion, uh, you know, market cap for all coins, and that's what this is right here. This. The ticker is others. If you don't have that on your chart, you should throw it up there because this is the total market cap of all crypto minus the top 10 tokens. So it gets all the noise out of there. It gets Bitcoin out of there. It gets USDT, USDC out of there and a couple other stable coins like uh, Cardano and XRP out of there as well. What's going on, Michael? Giovanni says trip the bottom. It could be. I mean, that's the hopium, right? We uh, visited our hopium dealers this morning and I mean, that's the hope, right? Charts look more bearish than what the hope is but the hope is that we hold 60k that is uh, obviously the hope now taking a look at day you know I i'm not gonna harp on this too much but just it's the same thing volume is in the dumps no one is excited right now uh we've been in the dumps since the top i mean this is the daily time frame for perpetual futures contracts these are whales these are million dollar plus orders constantly headed down 
Uh, even the 100k to $1 million orders heading down, right? And then you got retail out here listening to every single influencer out there telling them to, to long every single dip and then getting wrecked. Uh, even the spot bags right now has a solid trend line down. And it's been really rough over the last few days, as, as we all know. Uh, open interest on the daily time frame is headed down. Maybe a little bit flaggy or a little pennant there. It could take us a little bit further down. Uh, and then funding rates, right, just haven't really picked up. And I think on these smaller time frames, funding rates are negative. Well, they were, um, come on, where are you at? Why ain't you loading? Get a little refresh here. Kind of battling back and forth uh, at that 60K level. It looks like a lot of people are, are longing, uh, thinking and hoping that that is a bottom. Maybe it is. Uh, but it kind of traded back and forth. I mean, we actually did dip into negative funding rates a few times over the last 24 hours, most recently this morning, meaning people are shortened. Mr. 100 is buying 100 BTC every day, almost for two weeks. I don't know who that is. Do you, Brian? I have no idea. <clears throat> Mr. 100. Can we read the quote? What's the quote? The quote from the book. That we oh, put up okay. the, one of the books, the most oh, people... mysterious Bitcoin whale. Oh, the mysterious Bitcoin whale addresses uh, amassing BTC as the race to new all time highs continue, uh, according to data. The wallet now holds over 54k Bitcoin. Uh, 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 uh. could be an investment fund or a big bank or. Um, some other of the Bitcoin ETFs, uh, as well. So we just don't know. That's just, in my opinion, this doesn't do us any good, right? Right. Giovanni, like this doesn't, this doesn't help us. We're not, it's just like, like when I see the influencers post, well, BlackRock's buying the dip. Well, we aren't BlackRock. We don't have $10 trillion assets under, under management, <laughs> right? Like well, that doesn't help us. <laughs> Um, it's a little different. It's, it's a little different for, for these guys. We have our only job, as I've been saying now over the past, however many live streams since, since the crash, our only job right now is to survive and not lose money. So we have money when we start bouncing up again and we will, right? We're not going to be down forever. At some point people are going to step up again. Plus, right. These larger transactions, especially like I saw yesterday, Someone again posted that BlackRock's buying the dip and, and um, st someone posed the question and said something like, well, why isn't that reflected in the price? Well, it's not like BlackRock's buying, loading up a Coinbase.com exchange and buying it, right? They're buying it over the counter, which doesn't affect the price of Bitcoin. Uh, Rudy Poo says, has anyone seen my stapler? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Matt? How you doing? How you doing? Um, but yeah, uh, you know, again, like it, it's, it's cool to look at that stuff, but it's, it's just not helpful to, to us. We're not BlackRock. We're not Mr. 100. We got to do our best to try to navigate these tumultuous times and, and protect our assets the best we can and hopefully get in on some shorts, right? Hopefully make up for the bags that are, are fallen. But, um, like I said, alt, I mean, we take a look at Bitcoin dominance, right? We're, we're seeing money leave all coins right there, right? There was our trend. This is Bitcoin dominance compared to other coins. Here's where we broke the trend, retested it, and then bounced up. Maybe we're flagging out again a little bit here for another leg up. Maybe not. Maybe we come back down and get in the channel. Who knows? My guess is though that we're heading up. We're heading up to like 57% again on, on Bitcoin dominance. Um, so others, again, this is just the exact opposite of Bitcoin dominance, right? So the so altcoins lost the trend to the downside. So far, though, holding 250 billion. If Bitcoin loses 60K, we're going to lose 250 billion on altcoins. Next logical level, uh, about 230 billion market cap right there, which is another only like 7%. So maybe you'll have some altcoins drop 5%. Maybe you'll have others drop, uh, you know, 15, 20%. It's kind of a mixed bag as it is today, right? You got some altcoins down 10%, some altcoins down 1%, some altcoins up. Uh, I think SWE was up today. SCI is up still over the last 24 hours. BGB up almost uh, 10% over the last 24 hours. That's what somebody asked me. They said, what, what about these altcoins that, that 
pump and they're not correlated with Bitcoin. I think a lot of people are trying to just chase anything that's going up. Yeah. Um, I mean, you, like I saw you, there's, you took there's always, there's, there's always exceptions to the rule, right? Uh, but the exception isn't the rule. Um, it's nice if you're in those coins, right? It's, it's, it's obviously good for you if you hold SWE or Core. Core has been running up huge. We've been talking about Core. Um, but they're the oddballs, right? They're the exception to the rule. INJ is still up. SEI is up 2.3. SWE is up 4. Um, all coins, or I mean, not all coins, but AI coin SNS is up a little bit, three and a half percent. Um, I, I, I'm not chasing those, those little oddball pumps. Cause like today it's sweet. Um, you know, tomorrow it's going to be something else. Uh, but they're worth noting and, and worth looking at. Right. So, uh, if those coins are starting to make higher highs and higher lows, it might be worth looking at, but I'm not chasing pumps in a downtrend i'm just not right uh that's just me you know you don't have to do what i do there's plenty of uh ways to make money in crypto i'm just you know my hedge against the downtrend is is looking for shorts uh someone else's might be finding the hype coins uh the the, the oddball out coins uh yeah I, I don't know does that answer your question or no it does i mean i just at one point just watching you do it you you saw the writing on the wall with alts. You got out of alts. USD. Well, my plan, my initial plan, if you go back and you watch, um, like when we first started turning red up here, my, I, you know, I started taking some profits, but my initial plan was to not really cash out of the markets unless we started accumulating below 60 K, uh, which we haven't done yet, but something in me just said, get out, just get out, save your money and see where this all shakes out. Um, so I went against my initial plan. My initial plan was to, to hold, and I'm still holding some, right? I haven't sold my ETH. Uh, I haven't sold my Cardano, uh, most, mostly just out of like sheer laziness. Um, you know, <laughs> I have Cardano on a, on a Trezor, which I just haven't, I haven't touched it in like four or five years. Um, and I probably won't, uh, uh, you know, unless shit just gets real ugly. But uh, my, my ETH is just locked up being staked right now. Um, you know, I'm an ETH validator with it. I'm just not, I'm just not going to pull it. You know, hopefully with the ETH, my uh, staking earnings make up for what's, what's coming, what it's doing coming down. You know, that's my hope there. Yeah. Just at one point I, I just thought, why does it, why does it have, why does my account ever have to go down? I have my stop loss with my acceptable risk. I'm out in USDT. When it's going down, I'm focusing on shorts. It doesn't have to bleed into a panic state, you know? Yeah, it, it, I, I just, I look at my spot plays just like I look at my leverage future plays. Like I have my, um, my entries, I have my oh shit buttons, and I'm just trading the trend, right? The trend is up. We're all having fun. We're all making money. As soon as we start chopping sideways, everyone's freaking out or going down. Right. Um, and then just again, like we've looked at the last few days, historically, summers are are down. There are chops. We looked at the last five summers now several times over the last uh, you know week or so. We look at every single summer, last summer, the summer before, the summer before, every single one of them are down. So that's that's kind of why I'm saying our only job right now is to protect our assets, not take stupid risks. Uh, doesn't mean you can't take on any risk and, and still, you know, do things and hop in and hop out of things, but you want to take less risk right now. You want to have money. Uh, you know, the memes over the last couple of days have changed from buy the dip to, um, you know, buy the dip with what money, right? Because <laughs> everyone's losing money right now. So here's the question that's on a lot of people's mind. Alts already dropped down. We're at a critical point. Do they sell alts? That's up to them, man. <laughs> I, I'm thankful that I don't have to worry about that. Right. Right? Because at this point now, the net, the uh, as soon as we put in a higher high on the four hour, if I decide to get back in, I'm buying alts 20, 30, 40, 50, 60% off in some cases. Mm. Um, if we start accumulating under 60K, I would probably get a little concerned. Right now we're holding 60K. I'd probably say right now, it just depends on what we do here. Um, 
you know, we were holding this range for too long. We didn't get a bounce here where we did here, where we did here and where we did here. So that uh -huh. to me signified we're going to go down. Um, hopefully we can muster up some bids and some buys here and, and, and people can, you know, take us up. Wells can take us up. Um, if we start accumulating under 60 K though, I would get a little concerned because like I showed you, I mean, we don't have support below us till 55 K. That's a huge drop from, from, from where we are right now to 55 K. And that's not even the level we've been talking about. We've been talking about that 52 K level. Let's just say 55 K. That's another eight, nine percent on Bitcoin. Just imagine what that's going to do to altcoins. It's going to decimate them again. You're talking another 20, 30% drop uh, in, in altcoin. If, right? This is an if scenario. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. Uh, but if we start accumulating under 60 K, there's a damn good chance that that plays out. So I'm never going to tell anyone what to do. I'm only going to tell you guys what I do. You never tell what to do. <laughs> I don't want that on my conscience, man. But read the quote. Read the quote. All right. Here's the quote. Most people do not want to know the purpose of the market. They do not want to have to think rationally and objectionably about the bigger picture. Most market participants, in fact, most people in general, would rather be given a set of rules to blindly follow than to have used have to use personal insight and innovative thought. And again, the majority of people who trade do not make money. Mind yeah, over market. And we can take that a, a step further, right? Most people want to be told what to do. They don't want to learn this stuff for themselves. Yeah. Uh, but but like statistically speaking, that's why nine out of ten people who set out to be a trader fail. You know, they they just do. And them is just the fact. Well, if that's the fact, then then there's a high percentage of who they're listening to is wrong. <laughs> if 90% yeah. of the people in the market fail. For sure. For, for sure. All right. Yeah. I, you know, I mean, that's, um, that's anything in life. That's anything in life, man. You got to put in the work or... Uh, hope and a prayer, I guess, but I don't live on hope and a prayer. I so you take seem, emotions out of it. You seem to be up right now. Well, I mean that that position is up beautifully. I'm up on the day. That was nice. Oh yeah. We shorted, we shorted the hell out of that this morning. That was a great morning. It was a couple where I got stopped out, but yeah, it was a good morning. Yeah, learn to short. Not everyone has to leverage trade. I want to make that clear. Like, again, statistically speaking, even in the stock markets, nine out of 10 traders fail. So the odds are stacked against you. You don't have to be a leverage trader in order to make a lot of money in crypto. You can do it with spot bay. You just got to know when to get out and when to get in. And that's easier said than done. Um, but trade the trend. When we're up, we're up. When we're down, we're down. You're taking profit. But uh, I mean, I, my spot, like, just like I think I've told you, uh, and it, this is probably how any trader is, like my spot bags are way bigger than what I trade with on, on leverage. Like you should not be trading all your money on leverage. Uh, mm -hmm. That's probably a good way to get wrecked. Um, my spot bags are like my gold, you know, they're like my bank account, essentially. And when the writing's on the wall to get out, when we change structure, take profits. That's what the whales do. So if, if, uh, what, what's, what are you looking at here? Are we holding this last level. And if we, if we drop that, it's probably going to be a swift fall, huh? Probably going to be a swift fall. I mean, there's nothing below us. We know we do have this little bit of a blip here at about 56, 920, but there's not really much as well, I guess 57 K. So let me go ahead and just do a line. So 50, that's 57 K. Boom. Boom. So there's some orders there. There's about 500 Bitcoin sitting at 57K right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get held up there. But I mean, beyond that, yeah. 52,886 to 55 would be that kind of next blip um, to look at on the order book. 
And you know what's funny about those levels is they were never tested. And 55k, 55k is real thick. That's where all. That's where the majority. That's where a thousand. Like right at 55k on Binance right now, there's a thousand Bitcoin waiting to be purchased or longed, I should say. And that's just one exchange. Hmm. Spot's been quiet. Spot's been awfully, awfully quiet. Not again. The volume thing. Um, where are we at? Where's a spot? So here's Binance. And if we turn on volume, right? The volume that has been there has been sell volume. Like that's a giant red wick, giant red wick, giant red wick. Um, otherwise, I mean, you can pretty much make like a, a trend down. And then if we look at uh, Coinbase, it's the same thing. The volume that has been there has been sell volume. Summer lull, man. It's a real thing. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> it just it just is what it is. People go on vacation. People chill. People get outside more. Um, it's probably a psychological thing, right? Like people look at the last. People look at like the the last summers, last five summers, like we did on the stream for the last few days, and then you know, probably see that it's a summer lull. Then it gets in everyone's heads that it's a summer lull, and. Um, they're just speaking it into into existence, I guess. Um, it's just the way it's been. Vacations, chilling out, kids are home from school. Uh, you know, people are busier. Hmm. That was pretty cool. Dunky, uh, the CKB team was on uh, with Dunky last night. No, that wasn't the CKB team. No, no, Nervos, no, no, no. no. That was uh, just uh, another um, YouTuber. Ah. Uh, one of Dunkey's bros. Ah, uh, okay. My both, bad. Both like uh, Nervos quite a bit. So they got on there and talked shop, shop about Nervos. What's Nervos doing right now? Yeesh. Yeah, but I mean, it ran up big, right? Like, Nervos ran up huge. Um, I mean, from the 30th of January to the top, I mean, 1,100%. I mean, this coin ran harder than a lot of other coins. The most other coins. Um, kind of middle-of-the-road market cap coins. Kind of just retesting the POC, the previous range, it looks like, right? You got your high, you got your low. Kind of right at the POC right now. Don't want to lose that, otherwise we're coming down to the lows at about 0.016423. Bitcoin's still holding. Still holding for now. It's just been funny, man, just to watch um, the sentiment change on, on here. This is what I'm talking about, like the dip you wanted, but too afraid to buy. Buy the dip with what? <laughs> And then if you look at these, if you look at these influencers who have been posting by the dip, you can just search by the dip, right? Um, this isn't today, by the way. This is here, right? This is, you know, by the dip and then a dump, by the dip and then it dumps, um, all all the way down. Uh, just it's it just it's just noise. It's all noise. Trade the trend. Trade the market structure. How do you know when to buy again? When we put in a higher, when we put in a high on a, on a kind of middle of the road time frame, call it a one hour, two hour, three hour. My favorite time frame is like the four hour. Once we break the trend, that's when you buy again. That's when you load up your bags again. You don't need to buy the bottom and miss out on a few percent, right? Who cares about a few percent in, in an industry where we run up 50, 60, 70% sometimes in a day. You don't need to buy the exact bottom. You don't need to sell the exact top. You just want to try to protect your investments the best you can. Uh, if you miss out on a couple percent, who cares? Big, big deal. In the grand scheme of things, who cares? Now, if we're talking 30, 40, 50, 60, 70%, that hurts. That hurts to watch all your money just kind of evaporate like that. So are you looking for a higher high and a, and a higher low? Like a confirmation 
or um it, it's 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 situational it depends like look think back to what the market looked like when we were here when we right. were here think back i mean think back to the meme coin stupidity think back to all the racist meme coins that were popping up on solana um, all this stupid stuff that was happening in the space, the influencers doing pre-sales on their coins and rugging their communities. It, it, it's, it's everything, right? It felt exactly the same at this top, not exactly the same, but it felt very similar to how it felt back in 2021 when we had a lot of the same stuff going on. Uh, but not only that, right? Not only from like a sentiment and what the influencers were doing, rugging their communities and, um, everyone calling for 300k Bitcoin, 250k Bitcoin by June. Uh, those posts are out there. Those posts are out there, by the way. It just felt very, very, very similar. Um, but it, it wasn't just that, right? We got we got a lot of shit stacked against us. Inflation's going up again. Instead of talking the beginning, fast forward to like towards the end of last year when they were talking about six rate cuts this year. That's evaporated. We're now talking about the potential for another rate increase. It went from six rate cuts to now zero rate cuts to a possible raising the interest rates again, right? The stock markets are down now. The stock markets are down. We've had two hot inflation reports in a row. We got multiple wars going on. There's a lot coming at us right now and a lot of unknowns. You know, the halving's in like, what, two days? Mm -hmm. And the halving's never a big event. The halving's always a letdown. Every single year, the have every single four years, the having is a letdown. Never do we like just skyrocket up on a having. It's the gradual build up after the having. It's never having hits and we get a god candle up. That never happens. That's never happened once. It's always the slow, gradual build up into like an altcoin season, um, pump season after that. But at the same time, we got a lot of stuff. <laughs> going on, you know, with the, the economy and the macro economy and wars and everything else. So my hope is that we still go up. Um, my hope is that this is not a triple top in the, in the crypto markets, right? My hope is that we find a bottom somewhere. Maybe it's at 60 K. Maybe that's the range low. Maybe it's 57. Maybe it's 55. Maybe it's 52. Maybe it's 50. That's still a higher high. I'm sorry, a higher, um, a higher low, right? Low, 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 low. That would still be a higher low. Mm -hmm. I would still be bullish. It would hurt. It would hurt all of our portfolios looking at it and seeing us down that much, but it would still be a, a higher low. Period. You know? So we still look decent. Um, even though it looks scary and I'm sure you're pulling up your portfolios a hundred times a day, we, we still look we still look good. All right, we'll change our tune when we put in a lower low on the weekly. Then we're talking, oh shit. But for now, we still look good. And it's kind of like back in 2021, right? There was our low. There was another low. Technically, it's still a higher low. I mean, we we, we drew down quite a bit. Uh, in the summer of 2021, we drew down. This was April, the top. Just like April, a top. And then we drew down all the way to July and then kind of August, September, we started picking it back up again. Um, yeah. Kind of reminiscent of some of the tops there, but you know, going back to what I was talking about with like you know, influencers rugging their communities with pre-sale shit coins and you know, the racist meme coins and the meme coins just getting out of control. Um, I lost my train of thought, but I had something good. <laughs> I lost, I lost my train of thought. I It'll remember back to me. some of those meme coins were just, ugh. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and it, oh, what I was going to say is not only that, but the markets were just super overheated, right? Like the funding rates were incredibly high. Uh, the leverage in the market was crazy. It was a crazy amount of leverage in the market. Like it, it's just all that equals to just needing to get flushed out. Um. Yeah, and we we we're, we're, we flushed it out. We flushed it out pretty good. Funding's pretty flat. We're still seeing influencers try to push shit coins, um, <laughs> as you know. Lots of them. There's still lots of pre-sales going on. I finally did cash out my Geo Bowden. Oh no! What? 
uh, <laughs> last week. Let's see what it's doing now. Trump coin down. I mean, everything's down. Trump coin for November, man. Owens up today, <laughs> but I'm still like, I'm still fine with taking profits. I didn't have a whole lot of money into it. Like I said, but I did make some decent money off. of it. So one person asked me a question. Can you TA some of those, just those shit coins? Did, did they, can you use just basic TA on those, on those shit coins? Yeah, you can. Um, but you got to remember it, it, it's like this. So when people ask me to TA like a five, a six, a seven, an $8 million market cap coin, you got to go into it with the understanding that it, it is a scratch off ticket. That's what it is. It's a scratch off ticket. Maybe you're going to win. Maybe you're going to not. But you can use things like higher highs, higher lows and, and, and basic market structure. And this isn't a good example because this is actually like a $500 million market cap coin. Um, but it didn't, it wasn't down here. I think it was like 19 or 20 million down here. But yeah. You can still TA it. I mean, charting is still charting, but you, you need to know that on a $7 million market cap coin or a $5 million market cap coin, it's not going to take much to do this. It's not going to take much to dump it. Mm. That's where that those scratch off ticket comes into play. It takes one person or the developers of that shit coin to just start selling to then just, uh, you know, crash the price of the token. Did you close that out in, uh, how much profit were, were you in when it was you was like 2,200 bucks or something oh. like that. Yeah. But you only threw like a hundred bucks at it, right? 200 bucks. A 200 bucks. Yeah. 200 bucks on the state of the union, a complete DJ play. And I even said that when I bought it, I was like, I feel like doing a DJ play. That reminds me of the conversation that I was having. We were talking about this conversation I was having with somebody in the community who hit me up last night. Hey, man, should I sell my alts? And I asked him, uh, are you in profit? He said, yeah, but only 300%. <laughs> I was yeah. like, what are we talking about here, man? He's like, but I was at five. And I'm like, yeah, but it's tomorrow. A, it's a weird thing to marry your bags like that. It's like everyone, everyone, and, and I understand the psychology behind it, right? You might miss out on something, but like, what are you going to miss out on? Like, is it going to run a hundred percent in five minutes? Like you can hop back in. You can buy a, it back. It's a lot like when I'm in a leverage play and I see what my number's at, but I know that it's, it's not real until it's realized. And, uh, at the end of the day, that's, that might not be what I close at. Well, it's so. just, it's exactly like a leverage play. Cause let's say you take a long position, right? Here's the price. And then mm -hmm. the price goes up and then all of a sudden, you know, you're moving your stop loss up or whatever. It starts coming back down and people start to move their stop losses, right? They move their stop losses down because they're like, well, I know it's going to go back up again. And before yes. you know it, you're freaking negative. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like take, take the money that's on the table. What are you doing? Yeah. It's greed. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, it's, 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 it's greed. It's a little bit of, um, FOMO, right? Fear of missing out on something. Right. Um, and there's different trading strategies. I'm not saying I'm not saying everyone needs to to trade like I trade or trade like you trade. Um, everyone has their own trading strategy. I mean, like Stegahart, Stregahart said, I DCA the whole amount and have targets for each level. Um, I'd use price alerts and pick up more than go about the day and forget about it. Like there's there's no like there's wrong ways to do things, but there's no right way to do things as long as you're making money. That's what we're here to do is is to make money. Uh, so as long as you're making money, good. Do you? I'm never going to tell you to do to do opposite. Um, but we what we what we do want to avoid is holding it through this or holding it through this, right? Like to to be able to to get out somewhere and then buy in cheaper is is I, the ideal process, as opposed to the, this, right? I mean, we know we know a lot of people lost a lot of money. Holding coins, buying up here, a lot of retail, and then, you know, they're stuck with it. Giovanni says Bitcoin's going up. <laughs> On what, a one minute time frame, Giovanni? <laughs> That's good. That's good. But we need, we need to start pushing these higher time frames. Otherwise, we're just going to continue to uh, to tank. Right. We're just kind of like 15 minute time frame. We're just kind of chopping right now. It's looking a little flaggy too. I mean, my, my hope is that 60 K holds that, that that's, that's my hope. 
Um, otherwise, what do we got? A flag? Probably looks about the same on a 30 minute. Yep. Almost 30 minute flag foreman. And that would bring us right back to 57,200. 57.2. There's a little bit of a, I was going to say shoulder head and shoulders, but it's kind of ugly. But it played out. What's going on, Deadwood? How you doing? What? Let's see what's trending. All right. We got Sui. We talked about Sui. Sui's up 6.6. .6. Let's take a look at Sui. So we got this is what we want with Bitcoin, right? This is like we're in a 15 minute flag right now. If you want to start building back uh, on Bitcoin, you want to get above the flag like we did on SWE, retest it, and then start running again. Now, SWE's got some resistance at 1.3. So that top, which we're seeing, got rejected. Um, so maybe we kind of play out again here. If Bitcoin starts running up, that should bring us up. Right to this kind of range, though, 1.385. But yeah, I mean, SWE's showing strength i mean with sui we have a trend line up as opposed to a trend line down with with bitcoin so it is bucking the trend a little bit but it's the same thing with bitcoin right so with bitcoin we're in a 15 minute bearish flag we have to be bearish <laughs> when we're down we're bears what, what was your quote today bears make money bulls make money pigs, pigs get slaughtered <laughs> that, that's how it is um when we're bearish we're bearish when the trend is down we trade the trend down when we're trade when the trend is up we're trading the trend up uh not bad got a steering gearbox and alignment to do on a jeep that sounds like fun stepped in to say hi appreciate that brother good to see you good to see you my wife has a jeep they got their own culture did you know that jeep drivers oh yeah big time i had a jeep yeah with the ducks and uh my wife's got a shelf in the garage that just has like a thousand fucking ducks on it. You know what I'm talking about the ducks? No. <laughs> Dude, they duck each other. So they get you know those little plastic uh, rubber duckies. They toss them at each other. Yeah, or they'll <laughs> leave them on their car. So if she if she she has some too. So if she sees a Jeep that she likes, like at the grocery store or whatever, she'll go and put like a, a duck on the hood or on the handle of the car or something. Yeah, that hasn't made it out here to California, man. I don't they know. Got, they got their own. It's in California. Is it? Okay. It's everywhere. And they got their own wave and everything. Deadwood knows <laughs> what I'm talking about, I'm sure. What's the, what's the Jeep wave? <laughs> I don't even know. I think it's like this or something. I don't know. All right. I'm not a Jeep driver. She is. Um, what was I saying, though? Okay, so for Bitcoin, right? We have to trade the trend. That's all we can do. Trend is down. The trend is lower lows, higher lows. Uh, and that's what it is right now. But to buck the trend, to start to buck the trend, we want to break this resistance to the upside. Then we can start to think there's a little bit of hope. We have a little bit of hopium. There's a little bit of momentum to move up. But un until then, this is a bear flag that breaks out down to 57, 57K right now on, on a 30-minute time frame, which wouldn't be great. I mean, that would be to put in a new low for the range and take us right there, right there. Uh, but yeah, for for Nicholas, let's get back to SWE. We were just kind of looking at that a little bit here. Um, let me go ahead and just remove all these drawings because it's just too sloppy. A SWE bucked a trend, right? SWE did the opposite of what Bitcoin was doing. There's our money line on the bottom. There's our money line on the top. We broke up retested it and now it's just kind of holding flat but resistance for SWE right now sits at 1.3 you can see the rejection wick right there so they said no the bear said no for SWE so we need to get over 130 to continue up on SWE do we need Bitcoin to cooperate in order for SWE to go up probably uh to some extent I mean if Bitcoin loses 60k it's just going to drag everything down with it. But Sui's showing some strength. I mean, over the last three days, there's only been one red candle. Over the, or Sorry, over the last four days. Um, so Sui, I mean, found its bottom right at about a dollar, which is, I mean, really where it needed to hold, right? There was that low and that low. You got a double bottom off of off of Sui. Uh, maybe we do something 
like this and and bounce up to 1.378 1.4 something like that uh, but for now all we can do on sui is just take it one level at a time that's how we have to play crypto is just one level at a time for now it looks like a breakout is happening we don't want to get back into the channel um, this current 30 minute candle is turning red a little bit so maybe we retest this channel again we don't want to get back in because all that means is we're coming back down but you might get another dca entry at kind of 1.2 there if we do come back down uh, but this level has held 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 so is the top level held 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 maybe this is a false breakout maybe it's not only time will tell um, let's take a look at volume i mean it's up a little bit but it's not looking great it probably looks a little bit better on the daily time frame as we're starting to kind of build back on sweet a little bit here but sweet bucking the trend it is is there some sweet news or is it just one of those things Crypto. Has there been anything going on with Sui? Mm -hmm. Here's a TikTok article with Sui. TikTok parent company explores on-chain possibilities for Web3 gaming and AI. Interesting. So Byte Plus, the enterprise technology arm of ByteDance, which is TikTok's parent company, has announced a move into Web3 through a strategic partnership with Mistin Labs, who were the developers behind. I mean, there you go. This is kind of huge. I mean, TikTok's wow. the biggest freaking social media platform out there right now. Um, love it or hate it, it is. I'm actually going to post this in the news. could be huge actually integrating cutting edge ai and visual algorithms into sui signifies leap forward uh for gaming and social five platform so in 2020 ByteDance uh sought a virtual banking license in singapore in an effort to in an effort to enter the digital finance scene this is huge for sui I is mean, this a article? TikTok partnership is huge. Four hours ago, that article came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so hopefully, I mean, this circulates, room, you know, ruminates, get some hype built behind it, and then so we can continue to to, to build up. But that's huge. I mean, that they I mean, love love TikTok or hate it, it's huge. I wonder where, where does TikTok stand right now with the TikTok bill, TikTok ban bill in the U.S. TikTok ban in new aid bills up. Who wrote this freaking article? New TikTok bill could come up for vote this week. Freaking Congress ban. Everything going on in the world and their focus is on TikTok. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like everything going on in the world and their focus is on, is on TikTok because they can't control it. I don't know. <laughs> And doesn't Joe Biden have a TikTok? I don't know. I've never even been on TikTok. It's a brain ninja, dude. It'll ninja your brain. Jeep wave has been going on since I was 18. The Jeep wave, it was always a greeting back in the 90s. Yep, yep. So if you spotted one of these little outliers, like if you saw that article and you thought, man, this might be a little good sweet play, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm in bear mode right now, so it's tough. It's, yeah. you know, it's tough for me to want to be like, go long right now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I would need to see. I'm just not long in right now, man. I'm just not in, in long mode. Like we're smashing against the same resistance we smashed into them on Monday, right? Like if we can get over this and, and the, uh, the volume sticks, Sure, you could probably look to, to some kind of play there or take a chance on a spot bag play at, at any rate. It, you know, it doesn't matter what I think. Sweet's going to go up, right? It's just a matter of does it go up now? Is it bucking the trend right now because of news? Um, you know, I'm bullish on Sui. Um, I like Sui. I like the project Sui. And I mean, with this bite dance news, it's huge. 
But I'm just not looking for longs right now, man, un until we break the mold on, on Bitcoin and we just haven't yet. Ryan, I it. can you look at Ondo? Yeah. Ondo, Ondo Finance. Let's look at it there. Go ahead and get rid of all my old drawings. I always kick myself in the ass when I do that, but oh well. Uh, Ondo. Well, let's um, kind of some ugly chop. A little bit different than than what Bitcoin looks like. I mean, we lost the POC, but it looks like we're going back up to touch it. Um, so I guess you got a range low, a range high. We're kind of just right in the middle right now. Um, I guess the trend is up on volume. So that's good. Where did we hold? We came all the way down to 55 cents. trying to see if I see any kind of patterns or anything. I mean, if that's a low, it's a higher low, right? Low, higher low, high, but that'd be a lower high. Let's kind of cancel each other out. But there is where we need to hold. So, um, I was going to say SWE, got SWE on the mind. Ando needs to hold kind of that 75 cent level. If not, we're probably just tanking back down to uh, that 55 cent level. You can see all the activity that's happened here. And again, like locally, low, I mean, sorry, high, lower high is low. So if this is a high, and the previous low was a lower low. What does that tell us? We're probably coming back down and tacking this low. It's just expectational order flow. Again, it's up to Bitcoin. If Bitcoin finds a bottom at 60K, uh, which for now it seems it has, it's up to 68.25 right now. Still a lot of day left. Every morning I, you know, when I wake up and I'm like, just please be green, please be green for the last few days. And it's just like, just Asia tanks us every time. And so do we, I mean, we just continued the tank, but, um, 75 cents has to hold Ryan. Otherwise we're just attacking 55 cent locally volumes just bleeding, right? The last four, uh, last three days, red, red, red. So I mean, we see the intent to continue to the downside. Can you check? SHDW, I bought it at a dollar. Uh, do you believe stop loss at 98 cents could be good? HDW, shadow token. I don't know. I have like 96 cents. Let's get rid of some of these scribbles on here. Boom, 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 boom. boom. So if we sweep the lows on shadow token, I mean, that's going to be from 90 cents up to 96 cents. Those are the lows. If we're going to sweep them, that's where we're heading. Um, bought at a dollar. You're in the profit right now, technically, right? You're up a little bit if you bought at a dollar. Um, but you know, the lows are lower than that, um, in, in this range. I don't know what your ultimate goal is with this, but you know, I probably put my stop loss somewhere, somewhere below that. That's probably a pretty decent drawdown too. I mean, from where we're at to there, I guess not. It's only 17% for, you know, for an altcoin right now, that's not much, but, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's possible dude, that we wick down there. It is possible. I mean, it's just not showing strength right now, right? Red all the way down. This falling wedge hit though. So that was the top. Boom, boom. And then just kind of dump. What are your, what are your picks on a good, strong recovery? What coins you mean? Yeah. What are you looking at? Well, if For it's a real recovery, um, Look, RWA and meme coins, man, those, those were hot. 
before we started crashing, they'll be hot again when we start when we start building up. Um, and it's all the same ones that we were looking at, right? It's your Andos, your Token Fies, RSR, um, all that. Yep, our RSR. Um, it's all the usual suspects for meme coins, right? It's going to be your your Bonk, your Doge, your Floki, your Pepe, your Shib, Whip. I see Book of Memes is uh, Boom is killing it today. Is it? Yeah. still down bad though <laughs> like it's yeah it's killing it today but it's still still in a flag right so we're still still bear flagging haven't broken resistance yet uh but it you know today it's having a good day but it's still down a shitload um i mean it on saturday it got lower than launch so that's not like strength to me now will it go up um, once we start running up again, maybe it just, it kind of launched at a, an unideal time because like, since it launched, we've been sideways or down, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, probably a good play, but you know, I need to see a resistance break before I'm like, yeah, let me hop into something, uh, which we'd be getting over that and, and building back up. I didn't play bohm because it, you know, it didn't launch until like, again, like I said, the downturn downturn happen um yeah so again so getting back to to your question um about you know what looks good when when we start to roll go up again i'm just going heavy into rwa and meme coins again man meme coins dump hard when we're in a sell-off and they run hard when we're in an upswing um it's gonna be no different this time uh i mean shib for example from its top is on sale right now, 52%. Pepe right now, from its top to now, 55%. Loki, I mean, you get the picture, right? I mean, they just, they ran, they, they dumped harder and they ran harder. 57%. I mean, look at coins. Cap ones, some of the smaller cap ones are probably way... I mean, bonk, bonk, Pepe, right? Loki, um... That's probably another good one to watch, you know, probably CKB, Jasmine. Just, I'm just going to get back into all the same coins that, that I have. Um, you know, your runes, uh, AVAX. And it's going to be dependent on how they look, you know, how the recoveries go, how the market structures look, what's flagging out. Yeah, Bohm's up 10%. Black Dragon, Giovanni. What is Black Dragon? The near protocol meme, he said. It's on CoinX. Maybe a double bottom, Giovanni. But again, we, you know, you need to get over resistance. There's your resistance. Rejection, rejection. Black Dragon. Again, $4 million market cap. Right? So it, it is a scratch op ticket again. It's even more of a scratch op ticket when we're in a downtrend like this. Remember when we when we are looking to buy or load up on altcoins, uh, or what, I'm gonna say I when I am looking to load up on altcoins, I want to do it when we got some momentum behind us. I want to do it when when Bitcoin's heading up, not when we're heading down. Bitcoin's coming down again, six six. Let's check in the order book, see if they've changed at all. No, fifty nine k. There's some fifty eight now. 56, 55. Lots of liquidity below us, but not much above us. That's right. It wouldn't take much for us to start running it up because people are so fearful right now. So typically we don't need to go down and scoop that liquidity down below or we don't need to do anything. Yeah. yeah you right. know what I mean, we don't need to do anything. Right. 
Uh, it's just, just, there's just no volume. People are scared. I mean, let's see what the whales are doing. 15 minute. You know, kind of picking up a little bit here, but again, like, our, you know, you can see where resistance is. You can TA this the same way you would TA anything else. Like you want to start getting bullish again. You know, we need to break above that line. Because I mean, still the trend is still down, All right? The trend is still down. Oh, so you'll 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 trade that line too, huh? Break that well, because that's just giving you. It. Well, yeah, I'm just saying it's giving you a general amount of what how much money is coming into the market as far as like spot and perps. Yeah, it tells you the amount right here. Yeah. Yep, it's just volume. That's all that is. This is whale futures contracts volume. Whale spot volume in the dirt headed down on the 15 minute time frame. We probably what do we have a we still have a spot premium. Like if we can get back to a solid perp premium again to show me more strength in the perp markets. Show me that people are expecting the price to go up again. Sentiment is starting to change. That just hasn't happened yet. Do you mind telling me what you mean by a spot premium on the agger there on the right? What what's going on there? So, so premium just means it's more expensive, right? So if there's a spot premium, it means the spot price of Bitcoin is more expensive than the per price of Bitcoin. Oh, okay, spot so that price is leading the premium or I'm sorry, spot is leading perps in price. Um, now, when perps are leading spot in price, that's just a futures market. That means that people think the price of Bitcoin can go up. That's when you start to think. Um, sentiment is shifting when okay. when per price is underneath spot price there's just no excitement right people are thinking we're going to dump more ah. that's just a sentiment gauge again i don't trade that but it just helps me try to understand market psychology and, and what's going on in, in the market like i don't trade a spot premium or a per premium it just helps right. me understand what people think because I've seen you refer to that on the right, and I, I can see all the exchanges. They all look like they're all just basically draining down. But I never really understood what was going on with that, um, the shifting of those, all those different exchanges on perp spot. It's basically just the yeah, arbitrage. This is just the price of Bitcoin across these exchanges. Okay. So you have Bitfinex spot, Bitstamp spot, OKX perp, OKX spot, Coinbase, Kraken, Binance spot, and perp. Uh, so on and so forth. What's going on, Eric? Appreciate you, brother. And then this over here is just um, literally orders, right? So when the line's going down, that's spot selling. When the line's going up, that's spot buying. Uh, DGen and Brett are meme coins, Giovanni. Yep. What's is DGen on sale? I'm sure it is. Oh yeah. DGen is a base meme coin. Yep, base meme coin. So is Brett. Base Brett. Can we T-A-R weave? <laughs> yeah, Giovanni, I mean, it's a falling wedge right now, but the question is, like, how far do we fall down in that wedge? Do you know what I mean? That That's the question. Got rejected off resistance again today. Probably going to the bottom of the trend line. Uh, let's look at our weave. Are we've lost um, support there? That would have been nice to hold, but it found it there. There's really nothing, I guess, from back in 2022. Touched it there. Daily time frame stuff. You want to get bullish again? We need to definitely cross over that. Just a beautiful M pattern that played out. Probably right to the T. Not quite. So again, this is gonna be up to Bitcoin, but I mean twenty one nine fifteen needs to needs to hold, which so far it has in this range. Um, don't really see much market structure other than this kind of double top that played out. Hopefully that's it. 
hopefully that is it for for our weave um volume actually looks okay like it, it wasn't like a huge sell-off um in volume price-wise there was i mean it's down almost 50 percent we don't want to close the candle below 24.335 and we haven't yet if we do, I would say probably 16's in play, 16.30. If not, if we can get over this resistance line, which right now sits at about 28, 29 bucks, well, we could be looking at like a 43, $44. We could get up back to the top of the range if Bitcoin cooperates with us, which it's possible it does. It's very, very possible that this is just, you know, like a triple or a quadruple bottom for Bitcoin. And we build back to the top of the range and we just continue to chop. That is a, a very real possibility. Is that over the, like we, we hold the line, we hold 60 K and we start to build back up to the top of the range. And then we have a good week. You know, we, we pump 20% in, in a few days to a week. That's the hopium. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I just one level at a time, you know. I mean, let's put in a, a higher high on a thirty-minute time frame, which is asking a lot because right now a higher high isn't until um, shit sixty-three k. That's a high, you know, on a thirty-minute time frame, a higher high is like freaking twenty-one hundred dollars away from us right now. So we got a lot of work. You know, and the first, the first level to take out is this bear flag. And above that, we have a better shot at getting up to 63K to put in a, a higher high. And then hopefully we can just build back. And that's hopium. That's looking at the bullish and the bearish case. Bearish case, we break down the 57K out of this bear flag. What was the number we were looking at to close above? Uh, it was our weave, right? Let's go look at it again. Uh, what time frame was I looking at? Well, look, basic market structure on our weave right now is lower lows and lower highs. So high, lower high, lower highs, kind of even. We haven't really finished putting in this high yet because we're still green. So if this puts in a lower high, all we're going to come down and do is put in a lower low. So it's going to be important where we start to turn around here. So if we, if our wave can get up and put in a higher high around like 25 bucks, that's bullish, very bullish. Let's look at it on an hourly. Yeah, I mean, there's your high, right? There's your low, there's your high, there's your low. We haven't finished putting in a high yet for our wave. So it's gonna be dependent on what happens here with this high. If it's a lower high, all we're doing is gonna come back and attack this low and more than likely put in a lower low. But just basic market expectational order flow of highs and lows. Same thing we did here, but in reverse, right? Like we were dumping and then we put in a high. Like here was a high out of that flag. It came back down and put in a low and then we broke that previous high. Kind of changed the tune a little bit. Then we put in a low, higher low, higher low, higher low. And that kind of formed like a fallen wedge, which then kind of broke down and played out. So it's, just a, it's, it's going to be dependent on this low. Uh, we need to close above 24.8, which shows some strength. But it's going to, like I said, watch this high, wherever this stops. If it's lower than this high, that's bearish. If it's higher than this high, that's bullish. And that's showing strength for this particular coin. No problem, Eric. Appreciate you. Anything, uh, how long have we been going here? Where's the timer? Hour nine. Anything you, you want to cover or any questions or anything before we get out of here, Brian? Oh, I was muted. No, I, I, I bomb you with questions all day in discord. So <laughs> hey guys, we are hanging out in discord all day. The links 
right at the top of the screen here, discord.gg slash d5rebels. Uh, hop on in. Uh, we have a, a premium group. That's where most of the action takes place. If you're ready to take your trading to the next level, we literally sit in Discord and answer questions and talk and take trades. We did this morning. Um, Bitcoin is, is showing a little bit of strength here. Nothing to get overly excited about until we close firmly above. But, I mean, we're starting to break the other way. We are starting to break the other way. Showing some strength, Bitcoin is. But um, again, like, you know, I didn't draw that trend line perfectly. So if we drop perfectly, we're right at resistance. But, you know, if we get rejected off of this trend line, we're just coming down to the bottom of the trend line. We shall see. But that's it, guys. I appreciate you guys for all hanging out. Smash that thumbs up button for me. We'll see you guys live here again tomorrow about this same time. And uh, if you need us, we'll be in Discord. Later. Bye.